This problem has multiple parts. The first part of the problem is asking us to verify the formula to find the height that the bob is raised. This height is important because it is the height that gives the pendulum its potential energy. First thing we'll do is look at the right triangle that has the length of the bob as the hypotenuse. Notice the adjacent side on our triangle is the distance called y. This distance is vital to us finding h. y is equal to L cosine theta. h is equal to the length of the bob minus the distance y. We substitute in what we found for the distance y, factor out L, and find the formula that allows us to find the height of a pendulum at any angle. When we substitute in our, when we substitute in our angle, we show the formula to find our height. In part B, we want to find the kinetic energy of the pendulum at 9 degrees. Since the bob was originally pulled back to 25 degrees, we know the total mechanical energy of the system is equal to the potential energy of the system at 25 degrees. We will first find out how much energy our system began with, then we will find the potential energy at 9 degrees, and subtract that from the total mechanical energy to give us our kinetic energy at 9 degrees. We rewrite our potential energy formula with height of the pendulum bob. Substitute in what we found h was equivalent to, input our values, and find the potential energy before the bob was released. This is the total energy of the system. Next we will find the potential energy at 9 degrees. We will use the potential energy equation for a pendulum. Substitute in our values and find the potential energy. Next we will find the kinetic energy at 9 degrees. The law of conservation of energy says the total energy is constant. We rearrange the equation to isolate K, input our values, and find the kinetic energy. In part C, we want to find the velocity at the bottom of the swing. At the bottom, the pendulum has no height, or it's at its lowest point, so the potential energy is equal to zero. We will be able to find the kinetic energy. The potential energy is zero, so all of the energy is kinetic. We can now find the velocity. We rearrange to isolate the velocity, input our values, and find our velocity.